4,500 trucks in 45 days. Now that's what your Southern California Chevrolet dealer is out to sell. That's why he's making the best truck deals that he's ever offered. On extended cab, sport side, EL economy model, one tons, V6 and V8. With factory rebates and discounts on option packages worth up to $2,400. So can your Chevy dealer make you a deal? Hey, he can't afford not to. 4,500 trucks in 45 days. From Jonestown till now, on the next corona. Four days in November. Sunday, November 24th. Day three of CBS News coverage of the Kennedy assassination and burial. This memorial is made solely of material broadcast during that period. Since then, hundreds of books and articles, millions of words and pictures have analyzed the material you're seeing. Since then, we know more, but feel less. On the third day, Sunday, we grieved. The dead president's body was being moved from the White House to the Capitol, where he would lie in state for his countrymen to see him. Since early morning, a small crowd of people has been gathered across the street from the White House, standing silent, staring, paying quiet respects. That crowd has grown larger and larger until now you can see thousands of people streaming down the streets to take their places along the route that the funeral cortege will take. And now we switch to CBS News correspondent George Herman. The Capitol Plaza, which has played so important a role in our nation's history so often, is ready for its part in today's proceedings. The Honor Guard has not yet formed up. It's waiting out of the blasts of wintry cold wind that are sweeping across the plaza, shaking the rifles of the men as they stand, shaking everything on the plaza almost. And here at the Capitol Plaza, the crowd continues to swell, people pouring in from all sides of this historic spot. We are now switching to Dallas, where they are about to move Lee Oswald. the shot fired said it was fired by a man wearing a black hat a brown coat a man that everyone down here thought was a secret service agent the oswald was moved immediately from the area no one knows at this time where lee harold oswald is uh, at the present time word is that an ambulance is being ready to take Oswald away. We can hear sirens outside, and an ambulance apparently is moving down now into the basement. Here comes the ambulance, and uh, Oswald will be removed now. The ambulance is being pulled up in front of us here. Here, someone has... Please, get back. Okay, just get low. Okay, okay. Pat, can you move? Pat, move just a little to your left. We can see now that police are hemming off newsmen in the basement okay. of Dallas City Hall, hemming them off so that uh, Lee Oswald can be taken to an ambulance which was just brought into the basement the, uh, of the City Hall. We're switching now to Bob Huffacker downstairs. Oswald will be moved quickly outside. And the only word so far is that the shot came from a man wearing a black hat and a coat. Here comes Oswald. He's, he is ashen and unconscious at this time, now being moved in. He's not moving. He's in the ambulance now. And attendants, police are quickly climbing in. They're now having to remove the armored truck from the head of the basement entrance here.
For the situation at this hour in Washington, let us go now to the White House and Robert Pierpoint. The military caisson is standing by. The caisson on which the casket will be transported up to Capitol Hill in the rotunda. Catholic priests who've been praying throughout the night coming out now. Mrs. Kennedy, Caroline, and John. is forming ahead of the case on and now the case on and the casket are moving down the drive of a life far from spent and in a moment it was no more and so she took a ring from her finger and placed it in his hand there was a father with a little boy and a little girl and the joy of each in the other hand in a moment it was no more. And so, she took a ring from her finger and placed it in his hands. There was a husband who asked much and gave much. And out of the giving and the asking, 